Hello, greetings. In this brief example, we are going to see uh, the benefits of the critical path method analysis. Now, here you can see uh, two scenarios. The uh, first one is the before situation and the uh, following one is the after scenario. So the first for one and thing for you is to reflect on how the two situations are different. Now here you can see the before scenario, the project was completed in a, a period of around um, uh, within 24 uh, weeks period. Uh, but in the after situation, we, uh, we can see that the project is being completed in 22 weeks period. So one obvious difference could be seen is that the project manager has saved two weeks of the total project duration now the big question is how are those two weeks saved so can you pause this video and reflect for a minute as to what do you uh, see are the key reasons now one thing important to notice here is that there are no additional deployment of resources so just saving two weeks uh, from your project a timeline uh, without deploying any additional resources is great because time is money and saving two weeks uh, could translate into uh, a lot of cash so now we are going to analyze uh, what uh, uh, process was used to save that time so here you can see the examples of resources overlaid on the uh, bar chart so here for instance you can see the resource uh, the task one has four bricklayers task two has got four bricklayers and task four has got four bricklayers likewise task seven has got uh, four bricklayers so the strategy to save the time is basically to first of all identify what is your critical path so just a refresher critical path is the longest path in the network and it uh, basically uh, uh, indicates the total time to complete the project so here you can see uh, activities 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 10 comprise the critical path whereas the activities 7 8 and 9 are non-critical and you can see we have got some very nice float here so the strategy the project manager is using here is that he has decided to transfer some resources from uh, so the strategy being used here is to reduce the duration of the overall critical path and uh, the way it is being achieved is by redeploying some of the resources from the non-critical activities to the critical activities so here you can see the uh, activity 7 has got uh, four bricklayers so the project manager has decided to move uh, two of those onto activity two so in the revised uh, schedule you can see we have got six bricklayers here and uh, two bricklayers here likewise uh, two resources have been moved from activity eight to three and here you can see the impact uh, with uh, six bricklayers now deployed on activity three whereas only two not currently working on activity eight and similar situation uh, from um, resources being moved from nine to four which can be uh, seen uh, over here now because of this uh, the critical path has now changed and um, uh, so uh, this this is a natural reaction uh, when you try to squeeze the project and here you can see you have got much more activities which are critical which basically indicate that the project has become much more uh, sensitive so basically we learned that how we could use the critical path to uh, identify our key critical activities and then redeploy the resources to save overall project duration and also as we try to reduce the overall duration our project becomes more sensitive